Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So we want to integrate x to the power of 5 multiplied by the natural log of x with respect to x. And we know that x is positive. So that's important when we've got a, a log because logs are not defined for uh, values that are not positive. Right, so let's have a look at our formula for integrating by parts. We know that the integral of the product of u and dv by dx is equal to the product of uv minus the integral of v times du by dx with respect to x. Now usually when we've got a power of x we let u be equal to that power. However this is a very special example where we're going to want to let u equal the natural log of x. And the reason for that is that when we differentiate it, we get effectively a power of x, 1 over x, which of course is x to the power of negative 1. So if we've taken u as equal to log x, then we need to take dv by dx as the other part of the product, which is x to the power of 5. So it looks as if it's going to get more complicated when we integrate because it goes up by 1, so x to the power of 6 over 6. But you'll see that when we multiply v by du by dx, all we're left with is a multiple of a power of x. So in fact, it will be easy to deal with. So this is really the only kind of example where you don't let u equal the power of x. So let's just uh, reduce that down a bit to give ourselves a bit more space. And so now substituting into that formula, we're going to multiply u and v together. So that's log x times x to the power of 6 over 6. So it's easier to write the x term first of all, so that it's obvious that we're only finding the natural log of x. And then we're going to multiply v by du by dx and integrate. So we're going to have minus and the 1 over 6 can come outside of the integral, that's not going to affect it. So then we're going to have the x to the 6 over x dx. So that's really simple to simplify. So this part will of course remain the same. And Dividing x to the power of 6 by x just gives us x to the power of 5. And that will be straightforward to integrate. Again, nothing changes here. So we've got a sixth. And then integrating x to the fifth is x to the 6 over 6. And we've integrated, so now we need constant of integration. So we've got x to the power of 6 over 6 log x minus and then all we need to do here is multiply sixes together in the denominator to give us 36 and you might like to take the x to the power of 6 over 36 outside a bracket to give us 6 log x minus 1 inside the bracket and then add on the constant of integration. 